Hey guys, my name is Marcela. I'm here working at the Planet Ticket, and today I'm going to be showing you guys Meet for Classroom Management software. You're going to see the features available for you and your students, and you're going to see how to use them in real time with a student computer and a teacher console too. So let's begin. On the left part of your screen, you're going to see the teacher side, and on the right part, you're going to see the student side. So here on the right part, you can see I'm clicking in the Classroom Management software icon. It opens up, you put your password to log in, press login. I'm using the five user demos for now. Wait a second to open, and then it opens. So you can see there that there's no one connected, that why, that's why you can see the black screen. But on the right side, you're gonna see this is the, the student, I'm gonna click it there. You're gonna see the sessions available, the teachers available for you, and you just have to click on the teacher that you want to join. You put connect, and you have to wait a little bit. On the teacher side, you're going to see the name of the student that wants to join. You can accept it, deny it, accept all if you have a lot of students. So I'm going to click there, accept it. And you're going to see there, it shows up Marcela is in session and you can see the time. You can also see the screen of your student in real time too. And now you're going to be able to see all the features on top that I talked to you about in the first video. That's the features I'm going to show you how to use today. The first feature is the screen broadcast I'm gonna click there OK and that's the screen broadcast you can see in the, on the student part that the screen has changed these are the features available for a screen broadcast you can put there a lot of signs you can write on the screen if you need to you can change the color of your pencil put a lot of signs there while you're doing your lecture so that you can see there it's in real time in the student part too you can change it as I told you or erase it if you need to then you close it up so that it erases it all and on the top part you can see the different features the first one I'm gonna wait a second so the student logs in the first feature available is the voice record you can record your voice while you're doing this. You can write, as I told you before. You can make a student demonstration. You can record the screen too, if you want to send it later. You can put full screen. You can select how to display it too. There are different options in there, as you can see. And then on that cross, you just click it there and the, the demonstration is over. As you can see, it's in real time, so it takes a few seconds to the student side to load. But you click it there and you see that the screen changes also. So now the student demonstration, it's basically the same thing as a screen broadcast. Just the teacher can decide which student is going to do the demonstration. And they can do it on their own computer. Now, net movie feature, a great feature you can see there. I'm going to click on file, I'm going to open a video so that you can see how this works. I'm going to decide which video. And there you go, I'm going to click it there. It's going to load for a little while, but just a few seconds. And now you can see, on the student side, it see, you can see it in full screen. You can add more videos if you need to, if you want to, right there. You can choose on your files which video you like this is how they're gonna play it normal shuffle repeat one you can decide what what to do here you can delete it you can make a playlist choose to use full screen this is all, all the options that you have and on the bottom you can see the volume you can manage the volume the files the full screen or hide the playlist too so I'm going to close that app because we already use it. Now we're going to see, well, the camera feature. The camera feature is very simple. You can make a broadcast or you can make a record of yourself. You can decide that. This is the interactive whiteboard. I've talked to you about this before, but I'm going to see more of that today. Here's the screen, here's how it looks on the student side. In the bottom part you can see the tools, all the tools available for you, the text, the image. 
shapes, brushes, all the tools you need to use it. You can save your whiteboard too. Now I'm sharing with my student, as you can see. So I'm going to start writing. And the student can see it in real time. Right now the student is not available to use the whiteboard. He's just able to see. Now I'm going to click on share so that the student can draw. As you can see right now, he's drawing. And on the teacher's side, it's going to appear too because they are called drawing. That's what it says down there on the teacher's side, on the right bottom. So now I'm going to click on and share. As you can see, he's no longer available to draw and I put draw individually. So now he's able to draw on his own computer. But the teacher is, on, is also going to see what he's doing because it's connected to them. Now you can see all the tools on the bottom on the student side. You can see the brushes, the tools, the shapes, the colors. You can save your whiteboard if you need to. You can use whatever you like to use your whiteboard as you wish. And now it's going to appear on the teacher's side, as you can see right there. It takes a few seconds to load because there are different computers, but it's just a few seconds and you can see it right away. So now the student is drawing and the teacher is going to be able to see it right there. As you can see, the letters are showing. Now I'm going to press go back. So I'm going to go back to the whiteboard. And as you can see, there's no longer a student connector there. I'm not sharing with anybody. So in the student side, it's going to just close up. Now I'm going to go back to monitor and see all the features. So now we're going to press on monitor control. You're going to see there it's now sharing the screen. The teacher is going to be able to see the screen of the student that he selects or more. And he's going to be able to see in real time what he's doing and to ask about it if you need to. On the top part of the teacher's screen, he's going to be able to see the different features. He can turn the screen around. He can go to the next one. Uh, he can make a demo student or he can control the student on that part. You can see it's in real time. You can see what he's doing. So that's it on this feature. Now we're going to close it up. We're back to the principal screen. Now we're going to click on remote control. There you can see the different features that you can do. You can launch an application, you can open a website, you can make your own remote settings and a lot of features like that. Now we're going to click on chat and we're going to make a topic chat so you can see how you can use it. You click there and you're going to see this box. You're going to make a new chat, a new topic. So you're going to break there which topic would you like to chat about and you please click OK. And on the student side, you're going to be able to see the chat and, you're going to, and the student is going to be able to click on join so that he is going to chat on this group. Now the teacher is writing something for him so that you can see how this goes. Now he's going to click on send and it's going to be sent to the student right away. So let's see it right there. It's going to be on the student side, as you can see right now, and the student can respond just like that, just like that, really fast. And he can close it up too, and the teacher will know that, that this student has gone off from the topic chat. You can join again, or you can click it close. You can do whatever you want. You can make another topic chat if you wish as a teacher. You can draw, you can use a pencil, you can do a lot of things with this feature. You can put photos in these, you can make several topic chats, and you can see the history of the chats that you've done. You can make it by microphone or you can write it as you wish. Now we're going to close it up because that's it with that. Now we're going to see this group. This is for making groups. You can make groups, some groups or more, as you'd like. 
this is the quiz part we're gonna make a quiz for you guys to see how this works as you can see you can pretend this is one quiz and the student side this is a place the answer sheet where you can put your answers you press submit and your answers will submit right away right there and you can see the results on the teacher side right away in real time as I told you before you can see there the history of the answer sheets you've got there's the grade part you can see there what well, is a zero and you can close it up you can send it to the student right there in the student side he can see his grades he can close it up and you can close up your answer sheets if you don't need it anymore that's the quiz history part right there you can see the IP address and the status of the computer they are using the battery all of that right there you can see the websites the applications the USB the disk they're using if well, I'm going to show you right now if the student uh, opens up a website what is going to happen you can see right there I'm clicking on Chrome Google Chrome and right now I'm opening a website so you can see on the teacher side there's the website you can decide to eliminate it to put it on the blacklist on the whitelist but on the student side it closed I decided to close it right there you can see the file the file status and name you can see how it's going there's a, down there is the file submission that's the students files that they sent to you there you can see the quiz history I've shown you that's a response competition right now I'm gonna make a response competition for you you right there you put the answer the correct answer of your the question you are gonna record you can record it or you can write it right now I'm recording it so the question is what color is the sky I'm gonna put blue because that's a correct answer I'm gonna start but I'm gonna show you how to make it the wrong way like if the student commits a mistake it's gonna show the right there that the student made a mistake and on the teacher side you're gonna be able to see that the student is in red that means he made a mistake he didn't answer correctly now I'm gonna make it again but you're gonna see how the student looks when he does answer the question correctly now we're gonna see I'm gonna make in the question again I put a start now the student is going to have to put the, the correct answer there and you're going to see he's make a great answer so he's red he has a little star in it and that's it now i'm going to make a survey there you can put a question you can write it right there and on the bottom you can see that you can put multiple choice answers i'm going to put three right now i'm going to choose which of them is the right one but you can choose not to there is a, the option of that on the bottom part you can see that you can put timer on your student you can save the survey as I told you or you can just do it on the student side you can see he's answering his present submit so that he sends his question his answer and you can see in real time that he is correct and the teacher side gets a notification to see that his student has done the survey and he's done it correctly so you can just click out of that and you can see there the whiteboard I've showed you before the whiteboard in this video that's a different feature it has these are the options that you've got on your classroom management software right there those are the volume part the speaker and microphone That's the silent feature to maintain focus on your class. That's how it looks on the student side, the silent off. And now we're gonna see on the student side, raise your hand bottom, that when you press it, you can see on the teacher side, the teacher gets a notification to see that there's a student that needs assessment. So the teacher can go ahead and chat with him or talk to him directly as he wants. There's another feature too on the student side that's called message. He can send a message to the teacher. Right there you can see the history of the chats that they have, they have done before. And you can see right there, I'm gonna write something like that, great class. I'm gonna send it. 
and you're gonna see on the teacher side the message part got a notification so you can press it and you can see the chat right there and you can block it if you want if you need to you can block it in case you need to and that's the feature of the messaging you can see on the student side how it looks when it gets blocked and we're gonna close that up and we're gonna see now the files that's the files you can send and view the files you've got that the teachers sent you before that's the disconnect button if you press that you disconnect and the teacher can see that that's the different options he's got on to do what when you do that so those are the principal features that i've shown you you can remove a student from the class if you want to but that's the principal features available for you guys means for classroom management software by planet ticket stay tuned for more videos my name is marcella thank